Hello everybody, today we're going to look at a pen from a company I once jokingly referred to as a company I don't get. Um, but I, I'm going to talk about this pen. So, it's a Cross fountain pen. Um, AT Cross, to be exact, is the name of the company. Um, and when I ordered this pen, I thought, well, I thought at first I was maybe ordering a Bailey Light, um, but I just thought it was different looking. But what it turns out to be is something called a Cross Solo, uh, Cross Solo Classic, I've heard it referred to, but I'm going to just call it the Cross Solo. If it is a Cross Solo Classic, let me know in the comments, most likely is. Um, when you go online, uh, I found some examples of the Cross Solo. They were different than, than mine. Um, the ones I saw online in reviews on, say, YouTube or just on, on different sellers, uh, they had black uh, clips and trim and were different colors. This is burgundy, uh, or um, it was referred to by the seller as wine red, and it has gold-plated trim. Um, it's a very nice-looking pen, I have to be honest. I, I usually don't like the cross, the cross designs. Um, the Bailey I like. Uh, I like the look of. Um, but this pen, actually, I, I really like. Um, and I actually, it, it's a really uh, interesting little pen. It's a plastic pen. Uh, resin, plastic, whatever. Um, fairly light. It was discontinued, I believe, in the 1990s. I could be wrong. If you know the exact date, let me know. Uh, I couldn't find out when it was originally manufactured, the, the starting date. But And just somebody online in a review was saying it was discontinued in the 1990s. I don't know early or late. If you know, let me know. And for what, what it was listed as a inexpensive pen, it's quite well made. Now this pen here uh, is interesting in the fact that, I don't know if you can see it, but on the back of the cap, right there is engraved Japan. Um, the cross logo is here, there's a bit of information on the cap, but there's an engraving there uh, um, saying Japan. And I did get it from an eBay seller in Japan. And in some ways when I use this pen, the nib reminds me of Japanese nibs. <clears throat> and here's where I get a little confused. Looking for information, I was only able to come across one review on the Reddit, the, the Fountain Pen Reddit uh, chain. And the person was saying that the nibs were made by Namiki. Now, I don't know if that's true, but it does make me wonder. Um, because it feels like a Japanese nib, and I'm saying that it's a fine nib, um, and it does write with a very fine line. Much more, much fine. well, not necessarily much finer, but finer than most European or or North American fine nibs. It has that sort of fine quality that you, you come across in, on Japanese nibs. It's a, a gold-plated um, nib, so that makes me wonder about the Namiki thing. Um, Namiki is owned by Pilot, so maybe it's a, a Pilot nib. Um, the problem I have with Cross is it's so hard to find out any actual information about who makes their nibs. Um, I've heard lots of rumors, different people. I don't know if Cross ever made their own nibs. Um, but... Uh, I can see it being made by another manufacturer and uh, placed on the cross fountain pen body. Um, another manufacturer I often heard referred to as a manufacturer a manufacturer of nibs for cross was Pelican. But this doesn't feel like a Pelican nib, you know. So um, it is a steel nib. It's plated. This is a fine nib. 
Um, I'm just going to zoom in here and see if I can show you precisely. Okay, so there's some, yeah, there you go. So there's some nice uh, little scroll work on the nib. Uh, it says cross, and right below cross, there's a fine. Uh, um, it's a, it says fine. And as you can see there. Now, there's the feed. I'm out of focus again. Feels like a plastic feed. Uh, it doesn't really say any information on it. Let me get that in focus. And my, there we go. Yeah. It's, and it's a nice looking nib. Um, I have to be honest, it's, it, this is actually, if all cross fountain pens reminded me of this, I would be a big fan. It has a very classic shape to it. In some ways, it reminds me a bit of a uh, pilot uh, the shape. It reminds me a bit of um, sailor pens and platinum. And also, it also reminds me a bit like the Parker 45. I could be wrong there, but it's, it's just a very classic some might say boring design. I quite like it. I really like it. And I also, this is an interesting color, uh, this burgundy color, because at one point it seems to be very popular. Um, I have a couple pens in the in a similar color. This here is a Mont Blanc, and as you can see, the colors are pretty much exact. So this is from the early 70s. This cross ceased production in the 90s so it makes me wonder if it started production then in the 70s and this burgundy color was probably um, something from the 60s to the 70s i've seen this color used on parker i've seen it used on pilot um, it just seems at that time this was a very popular color and as you can see these pens are very similar in some ways, slightly, uh, the, the cross is a little bit bigger, the cross is about the same weight, so uh, let me tell you some information on it. So, I, like I said, I was having trouble finding out too much information, but, um, so, is the nib made by Namiki or Pilot? I don't know. If you do know, let me know, that'd be great. I only came across one reference to that, and um, that was pretty much the only review I could find online. There's a couple different videos I saw, I saw, but all the pens that I saw had black trim, and uh, I wonder if this is a, a combination that was found mostly in Japan. I don't know. Sometimes that happens. So, the cross or as it's actually referred to as the A.T. Cross Company, was founded in 1846. Uh, its head office is in Providence, Rhode Island. The founder's name was Richard Cross. Uh, the A.T. Cross comes from his son, uh, Alonzo T. Cross. So A.T. stands for Alonzo. I don't know what the T stands for. So that was uh, when Richard Cross retired or passed away. He passed the company on to his son. Uh, November 16, 2017, Transom Capital Group uh, purchased the assets of AT Cross Company. Now, I, I've heard lots of rumors. Uh, it seems like there's, when I go online and, and look at their website, or there's, they don't really have a huge line of pens, you know, uh, not like you would expect. But uh, they seem to still be making pens, um, but I could be wrong. I heard rumors that they were selling down stock. I don't know if that's true. Come up, you, you know how the internet is. I'm spreading rumors just by saying that, but I don't know. So anyway, let's talk about the pen. So it's a plastic pen, resin. Um, the reason I thought it was uh, uh, a Bailey Light was I heard, <laughs> once again online, I was looking around and all I could find was that the only resin pen that Cross made was the, the Cross Bailey, but that obviously is wrong. It's, they also made 
the uh, cross solo, which is this. Um, I wonder if this is made in Japan. I don't know. It uses a cross converter. Uh, it came with a converter, which was nice. And actually, the converter works very well. It holds a lot of ink. Um, the section is plastic. There is no, uh, what would you call it, a barrel ring between the section and the uh, the body. The Bailey light does have a gold ring usually in here. Um, it's not a heavy pen. It's not. A, it's 18 grams. That's with the converter and the ink in it. Um, capped, it's 14 centimeters. Posted, it's 15 centimeters. The body length is 12 centimeters. The cap is 6 centimeters. It's a nice size pen. It's not too big, not too small. It's just a nice size pen. Um, here's a Pilot Metropolitan, for example, and it is just a little bit longer and it's similar in width, like diameter probably, whatever that is. I didn't measure that. Um, <clears throat> but I guess what everybody wants to know is how it writes. Oh, one thing I will say about the pen, I have a little thing where I do like to post my pens. Yes, I know, I post my pens. Some people don't like that. I do because I keep losing the cap <laughs> almost immediately when I set it down somewhere. I'm very messy. Um, but it does post, but it doesn't really post overly securely. It looks like it should. There's a little gold ring at the end of the barrel at, down here. Almost seems like a clutch. I would think that would be like a cap clutch. And maybe it does grip, but it does fall off at the same time. So it's not totally secure. Um, like that, it just fell off. But it does go on. And anyway, but right now I'm not going to do that. Plastic section, plastic threads. Uh, the section here is plastic, so there are plastic threads on the section going into the plastic threads on the body. I like that. I don't like when you see metal going into plastic. Or, you know, uh, I, I keep worrying about the threads being cut up. But I like seeing metal on metal threads, and I like seeing plastic on plastic threads. That's a nice design touch. Section is actually a nice length, um, but I tend to hold my pens back a little bit, and my fingers are my my fingers tend to be on the threads. But I don't mind that. I, I kind of like feeling the threads. It gives you a little bit more grip. The section here is plastic, but it's not slippery by any means, and uh, uncapped actually, it's very comfortable in my hand. I don't have huge hands. Um, I just have normal size person hands, um, but it, it holds nicely in my hand. I, I like posting my pens mostly, also just because of, for a little bit of length, and so I don't lose my cap. I tend to lose my cap. So anyway, so the cross. So it writes a nice fine line, as you can see, and... Oh, in the pen video. Yes, I'm doing a pen video. I'm writing about a cross. Yeah, so cross. Cross solo. Um, I was going to offer you some ice cream. <laughs> I'll have some in a minute. I'm right in the middle of a video. All right. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Random guest appearance. Yes, he's we turned in. We are very professional. We are very professional. I've just been sort of bombed here with ice cream. It's hot out, so. Oh, it's very hot. No, thanks. No, thanks. <laughs> I'll have some after, maybe. So, the quick... <laughs> Love you. I'm not going to edit that out. Love you, too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> anyway, it's hot, and it's perfect day for ice cream. The quick brown fox. Now... If, I could see, if you could see that, so yeah. One thing I really like about this nib, and I was surprised when I picked this pen up to write with it. Namely, it felt like a Japanese fine nib, 
It felt like a Japanese nib. It's a steel, it's a gold-plated steel nib, but there's just a subtle bit of spring in, the, in this pen. Um, there's not a lot of line variation, and I'm not saying it's flexible by any means, but as I write with it, there's just a little bit of bounce. Just, you know, so there's not a lot of, it's not hard as a nail. It's, um, it's very pleasant to write with. This is actually, for an inexpensive pen, Cross really nailed this design. It's a shame that they don't make these pens anymore. If Cross was making, if Cross was making the solo, I would be buying more, <laughs> and I would be recommending it more. Um, but I was very surprised. I have another Cross that it's a nice writer, but you know, there's, it's just kind of yeah, it's good. This is really a nice writer. Bit of line variation. Uh, it, the feed is nice and, it, you know, it, it puts down a nice wet line. The feed keeps up. It's um, it's just a really nice pen uh, to write with. It's smooth. A bit of flex to it. Not, I shouldn't say flex. A bit of bounce. A bit of, it, bit of, almost softness to it. Um, and yeah, it's a puzzle to me because I still am trying to find out information about this pen. I like to research the pens. As you can see, I open up a bunch of notes, da da da. It's just going over it. But Cross is one of those companies. I find it really hard to gather information. Now, if you know of a site that I'm some reason missing, uh, that might tell me more about Cross. Maybe somebody has a blog about the history of Cross. I don't know. Haven't come across it yet. Let me know. Cross, when I think of Cross, it's what, it was founded in 1846 by Richard Cross. I don't know how long they've been making fountain pens. They, might, they were probably one of the first companies making fountain pens. If I, I'm not too sure. But uh, they were make, they've been making fountain pens a long time. But there's not a lot of history available online. If I'm interested in, say, Parker, I can find out so much information about Parker. Pilot the same way, Waterman, Pelican has, you know, if I go looking for information, Mont Blanc, there's so much information. But Cross, for some reason, for a company that's been around so long, it's really quite frustrating. Um, and I puzzle over that. So if you know anything, let me know. Where's, where can I find out information? Um, now, would I go out and I sh would I go out and buy, say, the Bailey Light at the moment? I don't know. Maybe I will see if it compares. I would have to find one. I don't know. I used to see Cross in uh, office supply stores in Sh in Charlottetown here, but I haven't lately. Um, haven't come across them lately. There seem to be. I don't know. For some reason, they don't seem to be around at the moment. Get them online, of course. But anyway, that's another that's another day. I'll have to figure it out. But anyway, um, it's a very hot day here on Prince Edward Island. I know it's been a crazy summer in so many places. I hope everyone is well. Um, I haven't actually done a video for a little while. I was uh, wrapped up in other projects. <laughs> so I'm hoping to get back into the regular... Um, videos and I haven't actually bought a lot of pens lately that's one another thing um, I'm sort of starting to save up for another grail pen we'll see what that leads to um, but there's lots of pens that I'm interested in and anyway I hope you have a great day and thanks for watching. I, if you're new around here, I invite you to subscribe to the channel. We're almost at 2,000 subscribers. Um, the Oh, uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell, comment below, etc., etc., etc. And thank you very much. I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.